Happy New Year, everyone! Professor Money Pick Trading today, January first, twenty twenty four. We're going to talk about IELTS Biotherapeutics.、Uh, we believe ninety five percent of the chance、uh, IELTS Life at Lucile will get FDA approval, and also the lung cancer trial hold happened on December twenty nine, twenty twenty three should be pretty addressable.、Uh, so, really quick about the disclaimer.、Uh, first of all, we hold IELTS stocks and loan call options, and we do not represent any pharmaceutical company. Any medical questions? Please consult your doctors, and we're not financial advisors. Please invest at your own risks.、Uh, so today's agenda, we're going to look at IELTS strong bounce together with small cut IWM, and IELTS actually have a fireside chat with JP Morgan on December fifth, twenty twenty three. They actually post the video on the investor relation.、Uh, we found it pretty helpful. I'm going to give some highlight. The third is the the drama happened on their lung cancer trial on December twenty nine clinical trial hold.、Uh, we're going to give some summary over there and our thought, and lastly the conclusion. Uh, so the left side is the IELTS daily chart. You can see the price action is really wild.、Uh, you can see since they filed a bio biological license、uh, application,、uh, the stock price pushed into nine dollars, and then have a stock dilution, and then the small cap actually got heavily shorted, and so the IELTS right. So you can see the right side is the small cap. Uh, the price action is very very similar to IELTS, so we believe this price action just affected by the small cap in general, that the stock has actually got heavily shorted、uh, in July and got、uh, all time low actually, three point two in October. That's when the small cap was so heavily shorted, and then starting in November,、um, CPM numbers started drop to three ish percent. The Federal Reserve started to turn dovish and hinting there might be four rate cuts next、uh, this year. Uh, so we're seeing a huge, huge short squeeze on small cap.、Uh, so you can see small cap actually pushed from 161 a year low、uh, in November all the way to all time high or year high 205 in a matter of seven weeks.、Uh, same thing, IELTS fans go up about uh, almost uh, 300%, right? From the all time low three dollars to、uh, the range high nine dollars. So taking this chance, we actually add a more IELTS fans position. Uh, you can see on the left side is our call option, long term ten、uh, call.、Uh, we, you can see it's made about decent two hundred fifty percent. On the right side is the long stock, a portion of the long stock we have in our benchmarking account. We're showing our Discord members、uh, that we actually traded with sixty five thousand dollars, and、uh, at the end of twenty twenty three, this account closed at one hundred ten thousand four and seven thousand. Sorry, one. <laughs> One hundred and ten thousand dollars. So we are making a pretty decent fifty-five、uh, percent ish gain、uh, last year. So really, really decent long-term investment、uh, portfolio. And Alphans is one of the holding. And you can see the Alphans is all doing pretty well. And、uh, taking this chance of the small cap madness, we also、um, loan some fintech, highly shorted upstart UPST. And you can see on the left side is a long call option. We make about four hundred sixty percent. And on the right side is a loan stock on the upstart、uh, in our benchmarking account, make about forty percent, pretty decent. If you're interested in our Discord server,、uh, we show all these alerts real time.、Uh, feel free to check out on www.moneypicktraining.com. And we also occasionally send out those alerts、um, on our Twitter,、uh, so make sure to follow us on Twitter at Money Pick Trading.、Uh, this is one of the UPST、uh, short squeeze swing trading small cap example. That、uh, we make 120%、um, as of December 14. So the second thing is the fireside chat update, and we found it very interesting. So let's take a look. This is a screenshot, and you can see the IELTS、uh, interim CEO,、uh, Fred, that was talking to Rennie and JP Morgan, and a lot of words. I'm going to guide you through this.、Uh, so first,、uh, the interim CEO Fred actually made a lot of FDA review updates, so that kind of answered a lot of our questions. Uh, that we have been discussing, and also email IELTS. So first,、uh, FDA apparently has finished the、uh, manufacturing inspection in both IELTS site and Wuxi sites, which is a great news because、uh, teal therapy is a pretty complicated、uh, manufacturing process. So、uh, we always think this manufacturing inspections has the greatest risk.、Uh, but well, since it's completed, we found it pretty comfortably. Thinking that this、um, life I will get approved,、uh, and then the interim CEO seems to show the same optimism.、Uh, what they said is basically the last pending conversation with the FDA is the labeling.、Uh, they believe the best labeling case is to get the cohort four and 
cohort two plus four, which will make the commercial launch easier. And how, if life I really get a、uh, FDA approval, how the price action、uh, will behave upon this potential approval is really depend on the labeling.、Uh, the better the labeling, the easier the labeling to make the commercial launch more successful. The higher the price action will be, right? So.、Uh, Even though we are now predicting 95% of the chance,、uh, LiFi will get approval. The labeling is the difficult part that we don't have the data to basically make a prediction like what kind of labeling FDA will put there. So that's definitely something we'll have to put an eye on once、uh, the approval news come out. FDA send us an announcement. And the third thing is most T cell therapy、uh, actually got approved 30 to 45 days earlier than the Padufa day.、Uh, that's what the interim CEO said. Uh, so basically, the current Padova day now unfortunately got extended to February twenty four, twenty twenty four. So if you were counting thirty to forty five days earlier, that we're looking at somewhere between December twenty sixth last year、uh, to January ten, twenty twenty four. And the other positive news we found really encouraging is currently that six hundred patients are、uh, being treated with、uh, Life and Lucel. So we found that's a pretty wild、uh, application already that a lot of patients are using it.、Uh, the Fred in interim CEO also said a lot of patients are actually waiting、uh, just for FDA approval. So we definitely hope not only FDA approval potentially can help the shareholder, but the most importantly, helping the myeloma patients. Right. So definitely hope FDA can speed up, do not delay it any longer. Uh, the fifth thing we also found pretty encouraging is、uh, the CEO mentioned 90% manufacturer successful rate,、uh, which we found a very critical because the, if the manufacturer success rate, let's say, is 60%, right, then、uh, our valuation market cap might have to be adjusted. But 90%, we found it with this complicated manufacturer process, we found it pretty decent. And also, the CEO is pretty confident that LiFi will become the frontline myeloma treatment at some point in the next few years, should it get the first approval this year. And、uh, the, the other good news we found we like is the runway.、Uh, currently, they have 320 to 350 percent、uh, million cash burn this year,、uh, so they they should have enough cash until 2025. However,、uh, should they get approval somewhere sometime now until the,、uh, February this year? And that's a stock price pushed to eighteen to thirty dollars. We do think they might、uh, do another stock or dilution round、uh, to raise more capital、uh, until twenty twenty five. And lastly, they do mention the partnership.、Uh, they prefer to launch themselves in U.S. and European Union、uh, just by themselves. So potentially no partnership. But they said、uh, for X U.S. they are definitely open to ideas about partnership,、uh, but they are pretty、uh, selective on partners. Um, they are also pretty open to acquisition when J.P. Morgan acts. So that's also potential good news since this、uh, industry is known for a lot of merger and acquisition, and potentially that's also the best exit for the current stockholder is to have a pretty decent acquisition, right? So we yeah we find this fireside chat very very、uh, interesting. So this is the highlight. And based on the conclusion that we just made already, that we believe ninety five percent of the chance、uh, IOFINS life and lose will get FDA approval. But label again will be the key. We are not sure what kind of labels FDA will put there.、Uh, that is something that we're not、uh, need to keep an eye on.、Uh, third is about the lung cancer drama. Let's take a look. So unfortunately, on December twenty seven, twenty twenty three, IOFINS lung cancer coral one and two clinical trial got halted. Uh, there was one patient、um, showed a great fight,、uh, fatal serious、uh, adverse effect, and lost、uh, his and or her life.、Uh, so let's hope that patient、uh, will rest in peace. That's a very unfortunate case, and they actually announced this and、uh, and post this on Infection Relation、uh, website. So what is happening is. Uh, the、uh, IOFINS actually have two different unsmell cell,、uh, unsmell cell lung cancer and the CLC、uh, clinical trial happening at the same time, and this one、uh, highlighted in the background right, red、uh, is the one that got halted. And currently, there's still the cohort three B ongoing. It's not halted by FDA, which we found a pretty、uh, bullish side because that means FDA doesn't really have a concern in general on、uh, IOFINS.、Um, Lung cancer clinical trial, but just this particular case, and、uh, so that's、uh, the reason number one. We think this、uh, clinical trial hold is pretty resolvable.
And second is there are four cases of grade 5 adverse effect uh, happened in, during the IL-5 melanoma trial before, and FDA actually didn't hold a clinical trial. And also Mizuo and JP Morgan actually uh, contact IL-5 pretty quickly and confirmed that, uh, unfortunately, that case is likely due to the disease progression on the long, small, uh, on the lung cancer. NSCLC. So, and we know NSCLC is a more complicated uh, type of cancer compared to melanoma. Uh, so, even though it's very unfortunate, but it's also kind of um, normal slash expected that uh, they're more likely to be a uh, adverse side effect um, on the small cancer and small lung can NSCLC lung cancer trial. And Mizuo uh, still reiterated the buy target with thirty dollars, and we see. A case like this probably will take anywhere from our experience one to four months to address and resume the new patient enrollment uh, in this cohort one to two clinical trial. So pretty uncertain, especially we're talking about dealing with the government, right? As FD is a government agency. But I think this is pretty addressable. And we're seeing the stock market agree with us, right? When the news came out on December 27, pre-market, uh, IELTS stock price actually dropped from nine dollar all the way to the range low five point eight, and pretty quick at opening jump back to seven and range uh, and kind of range bound between seven and six point five, and when Mitsu and JP Morgan announced this um, like reaffirm um, IELTS, uh, actually the stock price next day jumped back really quickly from seven point two to eight point six. Uh, so lastly, the conclusion is we still remain the same for. I um stock price, uh, stock price uh, forecast uh, right now is um, kind of the leaning right the second half that, uh, this year uh, last year uh, is ranging between 5.3 and 9.4 last year was close to 8.6 so it's definitely still uh, in our range uh, upon the potential <clears throat> FDA life and loose cell approval, uh, we think the price can range anywhere between $18 to $40, but most likely around $18 to $26 is what we believe. And depends on the next uh, few clinical trial results and the commercial launch, uh, we believe our fans will continue to see uh, the stock price uh, continue to go up. Uh, but of course, some point between uh, 2024, uh, each first half or second half, there might be a stock dilution that potentially can bring down the stock price. And again, we just want to highlight the massive potential of IOFENS life and lucile and melanoma. Uh, currently, there have been treating 600 patients. So uh, the fireside chat um, CEO did mention that potentially uh, they have the capacity for 2,500 patients. And we're pretty put a very conservative number here, $300,000 per treatment. Uh, that will bring the valuation to $4.5 billion or $18.2 uh, per share with the existing share, a total share pool. Uh, however, uh, their CEO did mention there are a lot of demands. Uh, so potentially, and they have the capacity to um, expand their manufacture to 5,000 patients relatively quickly. And if that can should that happen, we're looking at $36.4 per share. Uh, consider right now still sitting at $8 per share. Uh, the improvement to $18 or $36 will um, present a really, really handsome reward, right? Uh, for 10,000 patients, that will take a longer time. Uh, that do require them to uh, be new manufacturer size. So I do think that will take years. It's not going to happen uh, relatively soon. So again, we reaffirm IELTS target $18 to $26 upon uh, life of loose sales approval. And 95% of the chance we think it will get approved. And the rating is still a buy. So thanks for watching. And uh, we do put the risk of the Infest IELTS here. And we're going to put the link of the previous video that we talk about all the risk uh, in the upper right corner. And uh, th thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video. If you like our uh, content, feel free to check out our Discord server at www.moneypicktrading.com and make sure to follow us. Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook group, Reddit, or Money Peak Trading. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.